Hey guys, welcome back to psych to learn Really excited about today's lesson. We're going to be looking at social learning. There are two main assumptions of social learning. Number one, we learn from our environment by observing behavior of those around us. Number two, cognition plays an important role in mediating the behavior of an individual. Okay, so observational learning is when one person learns a behavior of someone else by simply watching that behavior and observing the consequences of that behavior. Um, the Bobo doll experiment, if you want to plug that into YouTube, is very informative on that. And that's pretty much it. It's monkey see, monkey do. Okay, so models or modeling. So a model is someone that someone else learns from by observing that behavior. So it's pretty much when one person observes the other. A great example of this is children and their parents. The children being the learner and the model being who the child is observing. Um, and this is quite obvious in children as we see their behaviors quite often mimic their parents. So for this modeling to actually occur, or for this learning to actually occur, um, there's two conditions that need to be met. So they need to be similar to us. So once again, uh, parents are similar to their children, usually, um, particularly in the early ages of their lives because they were born to them, and that's why it's pretty obvious. And they have to have a reinforcement or punishment. So if we look at a child smiling, they observe that behavior in the parents, start smiling, and then the reinforcement is that the parents usually get really excited when that happens. So they continue to do that behavior. Mediation process. The cognition of social learning. How our thinking can impact whether we learn a behavior of a model. Okay, so there are four factors behind the mediation process. The first of these is attention. The extent to which we actually observe the behavior. So the more we pay attention, the more greater attention we pay to that, the more likely we are to reproduce that behavior. We then have retention. So can we actually recall that behavior? Do we remember seeing that behavior? Basically, if the information isn't retained or that learning from that behavior isn't retained, then we're not going to repeat that behavior. We have reproduction. Can we actually reproduce or can we mim mimic that behavior? Sometimes we might observe someone doing something, think that's a really good idea, but we can't actually mimic that behavior. And the last one is motivation. Do the observed rewards or punishments of behavior motivate us to actually go and do that behavior? So if we see someone do something and they have a great reward for it, we are more likely to do that behavior.